afternoon, YouTube. It's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And um, it is uh, another Vlogmas vlog. And um, I am, it's actually afternoon and I have been at the park uh, with Clover all morning to get him tired because today I'm giving him a bath and he doesn't know it yet, but he's starting to fall asleep. And uh, that's the perfect time to give him a bath because then he's too tired to care. So here we go. done he's kind of still wet in the back but blow drying him is a real feat because I have to make sure these ears are fully dry because he can get an ear infection but he is so handsome when, he's, when his ears are all blown out like that doesn't he look great he looks so clean and fresh and clean all right bud it's it's probably time for you to take a nap he looks so exhausted I love to give him a bath when he's come back from the park because he's just so tired he doesn't even care um, but uh, I'll let him down from here and he can take a nap and then it's time for lunch. You look so cute. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> hey, you need to go outside? No, you don't. You need to take a nap. Take a nap, Papa. awake now and he's very clean and when I took him to go outside to pee he peed on the back of his legs he just had a bath why why do you do that <laughs> why anyway I feel like I've had a really unproductive day and I'm not happy about it um, I do still have some editing to do and uh, stuff like that but uh, while I'm uh, cleaning up I'll show you what's going on in the uh, Clover's drawer. This will be like an impromptu like dog organizing video. How about that? So I think I've opened this drawer in a number of videos, but I haven't really like talked about what's going on inside. 
So it's pretty much like this all the time. I've moved stuff around frequently, but um, the contents stay the same. So this is basically just his food. Um, looks like I have to fill this a little bit more. I do have a big um, bag of food that lives in the laundry closet over there. I just don't have, you know, room to keep all that much food. So actually we're going to take this out and probably fill it after I give this tour. But is that not the cutest little container? Look at it. I got it from the container store. It's so cute. And it's got a little boat on top and it comes off just like that. It's pretty airtight. He's like super like, what? Why do you have this door open, mom? <sighs> anyway. Here's his little scoop that goes with his food. Um, I give him about this much, I, and plus a little more nowadays. I think he's getting enough. He doesn't seem fat. He actually seems uh, pretty slim, and he gets a lot of exercise, but his food is pretty high calorie, so I'm gonna stick to that amount for now until our vet tells us otherwise. This is the little container with all of his treats. I do think I have shown this in another video, but I did get this from Marshall's. Um, and look at the little paw open thing. It's so cute. So it opens the same way the other one does. It comes open like that. Um, inside I just have some treats for him. I've got his little moo tubes. Those are cow trachea. So gross. Little chicken strips. Little like, uh, cheese bones. They're like those, um, Himalayan chews. They're made from cheese and, uh, lime juice, I think. They're like a hard cheese. Dogs love those. Um, that's basically what he gets. He gets, um, bully sticks these little chicken chews and uh, the moo tubes. He doesn't, um, I don't let him have raw hide or bones or um, antler, um, antlers or anything like that because um, raw hide, not the best for him and I'm afraid he'll break his teeth on an antler um, because I've heard so many stories about that. So we don't want to be going to the veterinary dentist, right buddy? Right? Yeah. Anyway, we got his little water bottle for his, um, his crate when we go away, if he gets really thirsty, he doesn't usually go for this, um, but just in case he's really, really thirsty, I, I put that on there and he can have that there because he is crated when we leave the house because he just doesn't do well otherwise. Um, when he's in the crate, he'll just like go to sleep. He'll have his little um, Kong treat and that's why the Kongs are here. And they're actually reminding me that I have to make the Kongs because all of the Kongs are here. They're usually in the freezer and the Kongs are made with um, dog peanut butter. <laughs> there is such a thing as dog peanut butter. It just has less, um, I, th I think it has like no salt and sugar in it. Uh, so that is that's why it's like dog peanut butter. So yeah, it's just peanuts and oil. So, I mean, you could probably make this, but there's no added sugar, no added salt, no hydrogenated oils, no corn or soil or any of that stuff. So it is a healthier peanut butter for doggies. And we got these little Kong treats. So we basically fill these up with um, peanut butter and treats and we put them in the freezer and sometimes I put pumpkin in there too. Um, I can show you the pumpkin. And um, he enjoys this when we are gone and after he's done with it he just goes to sleep and also in here is his little snood <laughs> this is a little snood to protect his ears when he eats um really disgusting treats because sometimes the treats like get um are like really crumbly and messy and they get um he gets his ears all dirty and gross and then they get all matted and tangled and so he wears this and he his ears stay clean <laughs> It's really dumb, but he looks really cute with it on. I'm going to insert a picture of him uh, with the snoot on. It's so cute. Um, these are his, like, monthly uh, dewormer and his, like, flea and tick med. So I just shove that down in there. <laughs> and uh, this is water bottle for when he goes out. This is in my monthly favorites video. I love this water bottle. It's so awesome. Um, and these are some more treats he has. He's they're spoiled and he gets a lot of treats these are like birthday party treats that he got at his birthday party somebody brought these to him and uh bully sticks of course um if you have a dog you know bully sticks are the bomb they're gross because they're made of bull pizzle mm -hmm. and um we got some cod treats he loves these cod skins and um, these are like just chicken dog treats from the treat lady at the farmer's market. He loves her so much. And then right here, I just have some extra like little chicken treats that a friend gave to us. So I just put them in this jar so they don't go bad. And this is Clover's like kitchen drawer. He knows where the treats are and he loves when the store opens because that means something good is going to happen. So since this drawer has been open and we are like just teasing him, let's see if he wants something. Let's see. I'm gonna give you a little tiny piece. What do you say, buddy? Here you go, you want this? 
Here you go. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm just gonna take it and leave. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. It just seems like I'm always cleaning up the kitchen in here. Um, my husband should be coming home soon and we're gonna make dinner. And uh, I just gotta get ready for that. So uh, let's clean up. Maybe have some wine while I'm cleaning up. That sounds like a good idea. start Rosie. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have been having a little trouble with Rosie since uh, they sent me a replacement robot. I had to replace the battery as well. I took the battery out of my old robot and gave it to my new robot because they, well the story is I had one of these and one of the treads on the wheels, one of the wheels came off and it's 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 basically useless without the wheels. So I, um, I contacted iRobot, I went through some of this stuff and they offered to send me a new one and when I sent the old one back but I had to replace the battery um, and ever since I did that this one runs awesome sometimes and sometimes it behaves like the battery is dead so I'm not sure what it's gonna do this time otherwise it's you know behaving perfectly and I love her um, and in case you're new to my channel and do not know this is the iRobot Brava uh, 380T, that is the full name. So it is a mopping robot from the same company that makes the Roomba, and I really like it, but um, hopefully it will stay charged and finish the whole job. Um, I mop pretty much daily because of this one and his paw prints. He's bringing in all kinds of stuff, and um, for some reason it just, this floor just doesn't stay clean. I don't know. As you can see, it's like not, a shiny finish but it's not matte either these are like brand new wood floors I don't really know what the deal is why are they are so special and don't stay clean but um, I got my little friend <laughs> I got this friend <laughs> and I got this friend to help me um, with the cleaning so we'll see how she does um, during this cleaning cycle so far it looks pretty good so um, fingers crossed on this one I do think I will have to get a new battery or maybe talk to iRobot again. I don't want to talk to iRobot again. I really like, I mean, I like this robot and I feel like I'm bothering them, but this like, if this keeps happening, I'm going to have to talk to them and uh, ask what I should do. I just, I can just probably get a new battery, but you know, I just want to make sure that's my only option. Right? Right? It's almost your dinner time, huh? It's almost your dinner time. You hungry? Yeah? I know you are. You are, you're always hungry. Always, always hungry. Okay, so it's been literally two minutes since I turned off my camera and she has stopped. She sang a little song. She was saying like, or wherever it goes. So that's like the distress signal about like I'm out of battery or something. Let me see if I can turn her back on and have her start again. So I press the power button and it seems to be fine. Press it again. Sometimes after she like starts this business, it's fine, but I don't know, man. If the battery doesn't last more than five minutes, then like I can't get the job done. It's been, it's been working, you know? So much frustration. So much frustration. Also, and not that I need this reminder, but it's just, it's so cute when it comes up <laughs> on my phone. It's time to feed Clover his dinner. You hungry? You hungry? You want dinner? Do you want dinner? Sit. 
All right, so if I can get the door open, we can fill the dog food. <laughs> so here is where the extra dog food is living right now. So this is my laundry uh, cabinet, if you haven't seen it. And this is all of my laundry stuff. Uh-oh, intersection. So these are the small space challenges. See, I got my little, got my little cart, come out with all my laundry business, and then boom, extra dog food, because we got these big bags. So grab this guy. about this is it's kind of annoying but since we live in a small space these are the struggles I only really have to do this like once a week or so and it's like it stays full for you know a week or so and then I just put the big bag food back <laughs> so I can store it you know these are the small space struggles you gotta do what you gotta do Alright you guys, well I hope you enjoyed our lazy day together, me and Clover. Um, I hope that you got some inspiration for your dog storage stuff anyway, because <laughs> uh, that's what we did. Um, if you guys are not already subscribed, please subscribe. We're doing a video every day in December, no matter what it is, even if it's super boring, we're going to upload. Um, if you like home domestic videos, videos about singing and singing life in Boston, any of that stuff, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Stay neat.